Yeah, no one's accent really rings true. I wonder where they're all really from. That's very loud music there, buddy. <laughs> I was tempted to go to Ireland to check it out, because what the fuck else was I doing with my life? That music just was inappropriate for walking across the courtyard. It was inappropriate for a lot of reasons. Yes. Imagine in a porn movie. <laughs> I, more appropriate there, I think. We always like to call people. Are we going to call and harass that tailor again? No. Okay, we're going to call and harass Nicole. Hello? Hi, it's George. I have been reading about the temple. Why is it that sometimes his model you looks like he's 57 years old? Yeah, when he's on the phone especially. Did you read anything about their treasure? His no, mouth movements are just weird. I made a rather weird. interesting discovery at the crew. There's no need to sound so odd. Is this treasure in the sense that, like, John McCain likes to use it? I hope it has nothing to do with John McCain, ideally. Maybe they shoot their best friend in the face with a shotgun. The tripod That's Dick Cheney. Oh, my mistake. He's also the, the one that doesn't have a heart. To me. Right. We have to well, he's got, like, a monkey heart. I thought it's it was mechanical. Story. Oh, maybe. And find their treasure. But he... I assumed it was his best friend's heart that yeah. just ripped it out of him while hunting. I, it's, it's probably based on a joke rather than reality, but as I understand it, he has a mechanical heart that doesn't beat, because fully mechanical mm -hmm. hearts don't, don't lub-dub. So he's lost hmm. his pulse. Weird. That was... I don't know if I believe that. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he is a heartless bastard. Several hours later, right. I arrived in Ireland. The Emerald Yeah, Island. yeah. I've been lucky to get a bus from Dublin to the... You're lucky to get a bus morning. from Paris on to the Dublin. Out, the driver told me there was only one service a day. McDevitt's Food Bar Lounge. Bar. Oh, hey! Top of the morning to you. I'm just waiting for the horrible accents to just come out on display. Here it comes. Oh, he's Hiya. short. Is it Kid? What? What's your name, Kid? Who are you calling Kid? Who the hell are you? I've heard worse. Find it Russell's more the believable than the Murder French accents. Game. Are you a detective? Let's just say I'm here to find the truth. Cool. Just like on the telly. Oh, no, it got bad Cut again. The crap and tell me your name. Yeah. Liam McGuire. Uh -oh. What are you doing hanging around the bar, McGuire? I'm on the run from me dad. Why? Did he you is a kid. Bad? I we apparently, even though he boss. looks like seven, you can tell me, kid. Is it your dad? He's clearly a leprechaun. Oh, sir. <laughs> he drinks every last penny. Down that's, his evil that's not, throat. No, no, no. You see, you use the penny to buy the liquor mother, and then drink the liquor down your throat. And die in a presumption. Presumption. <laughs> Chop firewood for father Mahoney father. till the fingers bled. The this is just a guy messing with him. But I Probably took the yes. pennies he gave me back home. Look, ma, it's gonna be on. funny. See what your darling son has earned with his own. Oh, okay, for God's sake, game. We get we get your joke here. Come on. Grabs the loot. loot? No, I'm I think up he'd say dosh. Dublin, heavy drinking, says he. Watch out till I get back. I'm presenting. That's why I run away. <laughs> Something in the grin on his face told me he wasn't being strictly truthful. Gosh. Compared to him, Huckleberry Finn was a candidate for Altar Boy of the Year. But, yeah, but that's a tortured being sentence. Irish, he's more likely to have actually been an altar boy. Have you seen a guy dressed as a clown? Here in Loch Marne, they all dress like clowns. The man Fair I'm enough. looking for is a dangerous psychotic. Here Jesus. in Loch Marne? It's just like that film I saw. There's this clown see, and he's after this kid who saw him kill a guy. He tries to warn the sheriff, only no uh, one believes him. Then, okay. While he's in the I, tub, I think the they're making that one up. I think I would know about that movie. Chainsaw. My God. Yeah. That doesn't sound suitable for a kid like you. Who are you calling a kid? I'm 25. Yeah, you look right. 65. You're not a day over 14. Oh no, it's 25 that I am. Married with a car and three kids. Ten kids if you count the wives. I don't understand. Well, tell me about what? the castle, McGuire. What do you want to know? Well, can I get inside? No. It's My name is Leon O'Shaughnessy McGuire. No. Only. What? Oh, nothing. You know something about the castle you're not telling me, don't you? 
No, he had no. his heart. What is it you're covering up? Is it something you're scared of? I ain't scared of nothing. Except in clowns I'll with chainsaws. You Your accent is worse than his. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you are not getting paid to have this accent, then which I'm presumably he is. Back to school. Oh. There's a ghost. It's called the Phantom of Loch Man. Uh, see, Scottish. Oh, look, that's a little, a little ghost down there. Mister, I seen it with me very own eyes. Loch is Scottish, not Irish. Tuesday night. I went up yeah, to see but, what that I mean, was about. I just reached the top of the wall it's all when I hear Europe this awful noise. Greece. What sort of noise? Portugal. A horrible snuffling and snorting. Like O'Brien's pig, only worst. Vatican worst. City. It was coming from inside the castle. So it looks like there's a little trail out to Terabithia or some shit in the background. Like, I think we should stop talking to the 75-year-old man and go, go out there. Yes. The moon was cracked and greasy like an old dinner plate. And there he would find a girl? I'm trying to remember what was... Terabithia is a romance of children or something, right? So, yeah, and then when one of them yeah. dies. Okay, mister. Spoiler! Hey, McGuire. O'Shaughnessy. I, I realized I had more ghosts to click on. Indeed I did. And a fierce sight it is too. I sat on the ass, <laughs> waited said while ours. the moon went down. And then moon the comes from the shadows, all grey and tattered and hunched over like an old bent or willow. It's like season seven of Buffy. Spluttering and splashing season seven of Buffy was bent over and grey and tattered. I was so scared. Well, it was, it was, it was the oldest we see Willow, so... I'm sure there's a rational explanation for what you saw at the castle. This music is trying to sell me on trying to care about whatever the hell they're talking about here, but I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't, I just don't buy, like, go to Ireland, spend 25 minutes talking to the first guy I see outside of a bar, and that leads us anywhere. Well, if you want a hand job in the back alley... Is that what we're going for? Seems like we really should have like focused a little more. Well, no. Do you speak English? Say, Fuck no. you. <laughs> An implication of cognizance in denial. A pretty poser of a paradox indeed. I gave him the look I'd perfected when I was twelve and was going to be the greatest hypnotist of all time. It was a killer. Well, we are, are not gonna just show it. The ADR is it the constipation you're suffering? I was a little out of practice. I just I love how some of his lines get delivered here, and then suddenly he's at the microphone. It's a passport to a world of fantasy and imagination. Wait, yeah, read a title? book today! The is shelving for beginners. The 1978 this edition. This man annoys me. He thinks he's way too clever. What's this man is Stephen Moffat. Yes. There's nothing like it. The resinous and his hay rick has a flat tire. Wood. The rhythmic and for the bad, pain. um... Ah. No wonder our Lord came to Earth as a son Objects of a in art lined up in I distances from each other and thing. Perspective. Halitosis. It's got bad halitosis perspective. The betrayal of Christ's that was my uh, band name uh, when I went through a punk phase in high school. I don't know about that, but I know that... Oh, sweet happened. God. This... Haven't you read Talking of Irish people. Well, no, but I have <laughs> seen the greatest story ever told, and I don't recall... He was a carpenter, Jesus wasn't he? That, that, that's what they're discussing. What can you tell I kind of tune in and out. <laughs> Not much, I'm sorry no. to say. Most of its history is long forgotten. Ask about the ghost. Ask about the ghost. His boots are two-dimensional. What stories they tell. <laughs> stories to make your toes curl and your blood run cold. You know, this castle is said to be over 600 years old. My toes have fungus. I, I hope it's an inflatable bouncy castle when he finally gets there. No, I think that's it behind him. Well, it's a wall. We can't really see much more than that. Where was the site of the Templar Preceptory? Is that a word? Yeah. I, they keep saying it, so I guess we have to believe that it is. I have to nothing. It really sounds like they're... Did using people the discover word. the chapel? I don't know. His workers were sworn to secrecy. You know, it's said 
could be used at the beginning of a sentence that contains a lot of words. Okay. All you have to do is say it yourself. Many people say it is also used at the beginning of a lot of sentences that are false. I have to go now. And okay. our it is a tweets word. from our president. A subordinate house or community of the Knights Templar. Wow, that's a really specific word. It really is. Also called a commandery. I bet the Knights Templar were the sorts of douchebags that made up their own words so they could feel special. Mm. Like Templar, actually. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's really no use for the word except for talking about them. Is there a ghost fiddling in the back? Ghost fiddling is what I called masturbation when I was in my... Uh, never mind. Is that guy in the middle a human Arthur? Yes, yes he is. ...or the length of their hair. Nobody ever said anything about runny noses. Noses run in my family. Oh, I'm judging the shit out of him. Yeah. The white whiskers on the bartender's flushed face were like garlic. He doesn't look flushed. I mean, the resemblance there aren't a lot of pixels in his face, but you could make them reddish if you're going to call him flushed. To act as a perch for a Christmas I mean, red-faced Irishman in a bar is, is kind of, you know, not outside the... There was a vacant credibility. look on his cow-like face that said quite clearly, "Cow-like." Nobody home. Isn't there a his better word for that? On an Bovine. Bovine. Yeah. Although, uh, if unintentional pun, sort of vacant, includes the Spanish word for cow in vaca. The guy with the fiddle seemed oblivious to okay. everything except his play. Meanwhile, everyone else in the bar seemed oblivious to him. Also, he's obviously a ghost. Yes. Hi there, old timer. Don't call strangers old timer. Or they will sneeze on your crotch. What? Nasty cold you've got there. As soon as the words left my lips, I regretted them. Is there <laughs> such a thing as a cold which isn't nasty? I put the question to Father Mahoney. Father, says I, why were we born to suffer snot? What did he say? He said, it's my reward for being out all night like a sinner. I don't think that's a theologically sound response. Like a sin, I'll... Anyway, the hell... This is no <laughs> Where does that cold? accent go? It's the hay fever. Polynosis? Thank you. Okay, now I gotta look that You're one up. Because that sounds like a bullshit word. Excuse me? Police. No. <laughs> I this is... Know it if you were. Welcome to OMG, where we just look up words in dictionaries for beer? you. Very kind, I'm sure. But oh, I, don't I think we're maybe getting trying to get a hand job from this guy. Can I buy you a beer? Fuck, it's a real word, do. too. Of course it is. Hay fever. Can you tell me how to get into the castle? <laughs> All right, maybe I'll start trusting them, but probably not. We're still choosing. A word can be real and still bullshit. But I don't believe. And you're a fool. It can be sententious. <sighs> Have you ever seen the ghost? To be sure. With me very old. If you're doing an Irish accent and he uses the phrase "to be sure," you, you should definitely ghost? nail the accent it for that phrase. Horrible. To be sure, and I saw it with my own eyes. Long beak, straggly, flappy wings. It was a carrion crawler? Sure it wasn't a wild animal, a rabbit. Wings, a he said. It was a penguin. Skunk. Yeah. In Loch Barn? They have skunks in Ireland. <laughs> but apparently not in Loch no. uh, When When our character turns around, he should just be covered in snot in his crotch area. I hope so. I think I know what you saw on the castle wall. And it I was a ghost. I, I don't think so. It was the kid, McGuire. What? He was up on the wall last Tuesday night. He thought you were the Phantom of Loch Marn. Oh. Is someone going to ask why their town has a Ghost Scottish name? Because it that bothers castle. me. You can't. It's not open to the public. Public. There's no one around to stop me, is there? Public. That's right. Nothing human, no. anyhow. I... I feel later. like this priest is some other nationality than Irish. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't fit any... I mean, he, he kind of resembles North Country British, but it's a bad one of those, too. Or, or, or half pirate, maybe. Let's just stand oh, okay. here for a while. I need more snot on my crotch. What? I really thought he was going to have some sort of, uh, oh, sure. some sort of, like, the priest story would have a punchline that would be like, oh, then he said, it's not. 
When my little lover yeah. feels it round her slender neck, she'll be mine. All <laughs> oh, that's... It's a garot! <laughs> Sinister as shit. Yeah. It's a garot, eh? I wouldn't think much of a wire necklace. It's not made for a woman. I've got my sights on... Oh, God, it's a sheep fucking joke, women. isn't it? Flesh and uh, oh, maybe not. Born the soft and white as a newborn babe. Uh, rabbit. Rabbit. That's what gets my. Oh, he's being going. metaphoric. It's not actually a lover. Right. He's that's a, a rabbit snare. The yeah. shining wire. The shining wire. Ah, so you're uh, making snares. To assuming that's a watership rabbit. down reference. That's yes, indeed. Right. Do you have a problem with that? Damn right I've gone I'm thorn. Only if I get me fingers caught. I'm talking about the rabbits. Do they feel much? You pain? cannot live on a diet of. Asked them. You cannot live on a diet of only rabbit. It's missing something essential. But uh, people sort of turn that knowledge into it's poisonous if you eat too much of it. Hmm. Which is not true. It's not. I don't like rabbit that much. I have only had it once. On Easter Sunday, <laughs> on a, on, at a time when my friends and I were feeling particularly quirky. <laughs> Back in the days when we starred in Twin Peaks. Mm -hmm. My name's George. Pleased to meet you, Mr. <laughs> uh, my name's Jimmy. Fitzgerald. My name's George. Can I get you another drink? <laughs> oh. No you want me to tell you about the rabbits? Yes. Okay, so he's attempting an accent and a, a, a speech defect. The yeah. There's nothing there. Just an old ruin. How old? I really couldn't tell you. Have you ever explored the castle yourself? I used to play there sometimes when I was a kid. Now give us then a bullshit vocabulary word. The wall and broke his head and died. <laughs> we didn't go there anymore. You haven't been up there recently. No. That's okay. Maybe Irish who's been in America for a really long time. See you later. It's weird for the accent to fade sort of irregularly. That's uh, an audio production Come trick. Whenever you have a voice you. or an accent, you I make sure that at the beginning happen. and the end of well, sentences, you, you say, really it? push it hard so something? that those are the bits that people movie. really notice. Well, I, yeah. I was trying to be sociable. <laughs> Is it a room you're after? Uh, maybe a hand job out back? Look, Got look, up hand or back. Oh, you have a vacancy? okay. <laughs> I could, if you don't mind waiting until the last guest. Hand job or no shocker? I don't know what that's another one. Oh, Irish Catholics are, are big on hand jobs because they have to maintain their uh, technical the virginity until marriage. The second person to ask as I'm given to understand. I don't know anything about the car. Technical virginity was anyway. a really good techno well, song in the 80s. <laughs> You know, he said he was a reporter. <laughs> he was could be true. Not, not techno. Damn it! What's the electronic? Um, electronic. He might have paid me to hear what he wanted me to say. Kind of new anyway, wave. I sort of yeah, on yeah. The cloud like of no me. Right, it's like a German band. It's like a it thing they make fun of in Big Lebowski. Is this your yes. first pint of real ale? Uh, well, Why are we putting quotes around so. real ale? I'm sorry. It's inverted commas. Beer that's grown from natural ingredients to traditional methods. Two? It shouldn't be kept under pressure or refrigerated. Oh, no, and finally, sure. Hey, can we kill that fiddler? Is that cool? Character. And the sneezing priest, you know, actually, it's while we're at it. Yeah. And it makes you fall over. Well. Oh, okay. Have you served any... Why do you think that he's over here and still in the clown costume that he was in in Paris? Seriously. Yeah, it's looking for a man dressed in a clown costume. Like would he be having a little white dog with a black patch over the eye? I shouldn't think so. Uh, I don't know what that's a reference to. Thanks. Me either. Hi, my name's Stobart. Like, why, George like, Stobart. do we really think that a clown oh, drove in a public transporter his own you? car for hours in the suit? And, I mean, we found the nose underground, suit? right? Like, we, oh, we should know that he is chained. Unless he has a spare nose. Like you would never you know with clouds. Well, I'm sure he has a spare nose, but, I mean, like... He wears it on his <laughs> dick. That's right. 
<laughs> Depending on which century ah, ah. this is the turn of. This uh, uh, Little, uh, little uh, Lovecraft nod there, which you you think will make us all impressed. <laughs> I assume that means that we're building up to uh, to something horrific here eventually. I hope so. Uh, yeah. I mean, you don't just throw Miskatonic around, right? Well, he's already covered in slime. I mean, we're we're getting there. Um, and he's bothering locals in a small village in Europe. So right, was, right. Uh, was digging for historical remains. Actually, I, I, I can't would, even remember what I was saying. No. I, I kind of hope they have a, a, a pentagram uh, on the wall and warn him to not go out on the moors after dark on a full moon. <laughs> oh, what is that accent? Oh my god. It's like Dutch. Imagine that, Mr. O'Brien. I wonder what they'll find. Well, you don't have to spell the accent in the text, dude. We get Fast it. Food cartons and favorite condoms, more likely. Condoms. Condoms. Yeah, that's a uh, South African, maybe? Is it true that Pegram found Yeah, it kind of has that feel. Gem? What? First I heard of it. It's funny part? the number of bad accents that actually sound like South African. <laughs> South African sort of sounds like an unsuccessful Dutch or Australian or Liverpudlian accent. <laughs> 